or uh, organizing event like this, but uh, this has been one of her dreams to take a break from the regular classes, from the monotonous regular classes. Rising that we had was in the year 2018, and it was, it was a great, beautiful one, even that. And this year, we are fortunate to bring in more artists and a better sound also, I must say. And even in the last festival, uh, GS Sound, Coop, they all came, provided us wonderful sound, which I really love. And uh, they did a the great job upgrading the sound. And uh, today, we're going to celebrate that with a better, beautiful sound. Thank you so much, Coop and GS Sound, too. Well, uh, we have lots of itineraries for the day. And this year's theme for the second time is Save River Tuitra, Save the Dying River. This is the only river that we have that passed through, that cuts through our beautiful district, our beautiful town. And this represents very much about us. I've been telling my students also that if this river dies, we die. If this river is unclean, it shows that we are unclean. If this river is polluted, it shows that we are polluted also. If this river is not usable, it will mean that we are not usable as people. So we have to once more take a strong resolution to make this river clean, to save our dying river, and to deliver a campaign speech on that, on the team. We have P. Meribet Sanate also. Well, this morning, we are fortunate to have Pu Alfred Cole Tonsing, CEO of Hornbill Cable Network, who will be inaugurating the festival this year. Hornbill Cable Network has been serving the community, empowering the people with information, with entertainment, with news. And with all that, we have been desiring for, for so many years, you know, since when I was a kid. You know, Hornbill Cable TV was a big thing. And I'm very glad that it is progressing very well till today. And it is my prayer, my desire that they grow bigger and bigger and uh, serve, the con uh, continue to serve the community uh, that they have been serving for decades already. Well, to, to inaugurate the event, I'd like to call upon Pu Alfred Kol Ton Singh. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give Pu Alfred Kol Ton Singh a big hand. Good morning, principal. Good morning, teachers, students, band, artists, and audience. It is an honor, and I am humbled to be standing in front of you all, inaugurating this special festival of Happy Heart Junior College. I would like to thank the college and the organizer of Rising 4 for giving platform to local artists and bands, the pride of our town, and to the young talent to showcase their God-gifted creativity. I also admire the team, Save River Twitter, Save the Dying River. We must take initiative to protect one of the most important water resources in our town. I like the spirit of the festival, which encourages young minds the zeal to save nature and help in spreading the news of it. We must also learn to value nature and strive to protect our natural resources to the fullest extent. Thank you all. Long live Happy Heart Junior College and enjoy the festival. Thank you. I would like to give a happy heart college a small gift from the team of the from the entire team of hornbill 
May I request the principal to come and receive it? Thank you. Yes, thank you so much to Alfred Colton Singh, CEO of Hornbill Cable Network. Thank you for supporting our humble initiative. And it is a prayer that this festival gets bigger and bigger. We are aspiring for that as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Lily Ramthar Kavom, student of Happy Heart Junior College, to present us a song, which will be the opening song as well. Kangente khue khunun numate Kangente khu khunun numate Clark from the king rule of it. Clark from the king rule of it. Can God so tangy? Lang pui dum du ye, ngau var lu le sing kan loi na so, kan vang kom moi na vang kan nui na. Angin kanin hersibe, sun zuhan milo mugai sin, hongon kati loyang intang sin. So was it in a cow can lock it? Sang in a loop, unang can zare. Asorala. Nimrang punso yalai takaso Katson banhi chui lal kakuna Sik tui yabing ang lanu roi mo e Thank you. Thank you so much, Lili Ramthar Kavom. It's a melodious song. Yes, uh, we are very happy to have in our midst Miss Good 2022, Teresa Varti. Shall we all give her, our Miss, a big hand? Yes. Thank you, thank you so much, Terry Teresa. Thank you for coming. Stay long. Let us enjoy the music, the food. Let us do that all together. Yes, now I'd like to call upon P. Meribet Sanate to deliver the campaign speech. Uh, good morning, everybody. 
Uh, I feel honored to be part of your program, especially on the theme for saving uh, the rivers, Tuitha River. And uh, to begin with, I would like to also, I would like to say that I and my team, Rural Women Upliftment Society, and the Women Collective in Chorachanpur supports your campaign uh, to save Tuitra, save the dying river. I personally, I would like to firstly uh, mention that one of our recent initiatives is that yesterday we had submitted an application, an appeal letter to our district commissioner, Chara Chanpur, to clean up the trash left behind by cooters. Because recently we celebrated a good festival, a harvest festival. We all value it. It is our cultural identity, and we all enjoyed the festival. And we are fortunate that today our beautiful Miss Good, Miss Teresa, is also among us. Uh, I believe that all of us have enjoyed the celebration, either in person or offline. But I am also wondering and also extended a challenge to all communities who participated in the celebration have any concern on the amount of trust that's left behind by the celebration. I would particularly like to call upon uh, also Ms. Varte uh, to also take some initiative uh, to clean the trash behind because if any of you have gone through this ground, you will see plastics, polythenes, empty bottles and canes that's were left behind. Until we clean the, those trash that we left behind, it will ultimately end it to Tuitra River and will get polluted. So it's a, it's a uh, it's a call to uh, all people, especially leaders uh, who hosted the event, and also those people who dance on the dice, to reflect on what the celebration has done to our environment to pollute our rivers. I say this because Rivers are important to us. I am very happy that Happy Heart Junior College annually had taken up this kind of initiative, a campaign to clean uh, Tuitra River. And why is river? Why are rivers important to us? I think uh, it's important to know. And I'm confident that Students of Happy Heart Junior College will be much aware of it, but I would like to mention as part of my campaign speech that rivers are very important to us uh, because uh, rivers are uh, part of our life. It is our home. It is our food. We cannot live without water. We need, hum we, we need water to survive. Not only human beings, but all creations in this planet need water for survival. So it is very important for us to protect the river. And uh, I think as a concerned citizen, as a student, uh, we have the responsibility to protect our environment and resources. 
I think we all can do what, what for, to protect the river. <clears throat> all concerned citizens and student community, it is our responsibility to protect our river, streams and environment. It is also our legal rights to own, manage, and benefit out of it. So to end my speech, I would encourage we saw a slogan. I will say, to each our river, then you will all say, we will protect. Are we ready for that? Because this is a campaign. So I will sound a slogan. I will say, to each our river, and then you will say, we will protect. Let's begin. To each our river. To each our river. To each our river. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, P. Meribet Sanate. She has been working endlessly for the cause of women's empowerment. And uh, for so many times, I've also, I've also been part of her many programs in different places. Thank you so much, P. Meribet Sanate. And uh, today I would like to acknowledge the presence of very, very important people to me, people who are very close to me as well. Shall we big, uh, give a big hand to Pu Lal Dena, Dr. Lal Dena, retired professor and vice chancellor of Sangai International University? Thank you so much, Pu Lal Dena, for coming here once again. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, shall we give a big hand to Pu Pausagin Ton Singh? Yes, can, can you please stand up, Pu Pausagin? <laughs> yeah, Pu Pausagin is the director of the Malsom Initiative, Center for Community Initiative, uh, the school for special needs. And uh, last week, we just had a fundraising event uh, with uh, the Institute and it was a very, very moving experience that I had, not only me, but uh, the writers community as well as my band, the Bonds and Clay. All right, now I'd like to call upon Pu Mang Tai Thul to take the stage. Mount Taitul is the host of Hornbill Cable Network. He'll be hosting today's session as well. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a big honor and privilege for me to be here with you. Before I uh, conduct the program, I've been asked to talk a uh, few minutes about Hornbill Cable Network and its commitment to the society. To talk about Hornbill Cable Network and its commitment, it's a long story of 36 years. We are the single cable network to be operated in the, the first in Northeast. It started way back in the year 1986. Now, I am so fortunate to talk about the story of Hornbill Cable Network and its commitment to the society. That is a long 36 years. Since there is not, not enough time, it's just going to be like a child picking a, a, a handful of sand on the scissor. Half the story will not be told. So let me begin with. Hornbill Cable Network has done amazing service in our community in so many spheres. We have been committed to 
all frontiers of the society in different dimensions. It was fondly called in the 80s, Mangpu Cable Network. We honored the founder, Pu Mangpu, who has been such a visionary. We never know that it would be this big and it will have such big impact. Those were the years when there were no cameramen, big camera, and there were no CDs or no smartphone. VCR, then we come to CD8, now it is smartphone age. Within these 36 years, Hornbill Cable has been doing immense work in transforming our society, and this cable has been playing a big, big role in transforming our society in education, in music. Those days, local singers, when they are broadcasting Hornbill, that in itself is a big, big achievement. There are so many people whose evening is not complete until they sit in front of Hornbill Cable Network and listen to the local news. And with the coming of YouTube age, our Weekend Horn program has been watched by people in Israel from the corner of Kira Arbat to uh, different parts of America. We are cutting across different parts of the world. We have a worldwide viewers. We have been committed single-mindedly to be the voice of the voiceless. From Henglep to Kailam, we are trying to bring out the plight of the people. And we have been working so hard to talk about environment. We are standing against corruption. And we are the cable that tries to bring justice and fairness. And we strongly believe in good governance. And we strongly believe in empowerment of the people. That's our commitment. Today, I'm so honored to talk about this. And to end up my speech, I really admire this school. Especially, how many of you are Happy Heart School, uh, Happy Heart College student? Please raise up your hand. If I'm a student here, I would be so proud to have your principal, who is a drummer bike riders, national award-winning journalists, and a man who is single-handedly working hard. With this many years of education in Churchanpur, no single college, school, or institution have this kind of rock festival. It's an honor for me and for all of us to be part of this history. It's not only the first time, the fourth edition, Rising the Fourth. What a Joy. It's a beautiful day. Let's enjoy the music. I'll not take too much of your time. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move on to our program. We have so many interesting and beautiful numbers coming out. To begin with, let's call upon the band Bones and Clays to perform the opening song. And after that, there will be a very interesting reaction, interaction with Miss Good. So I don't, we don't want anyone of you to miss out all the beautiful things that's happening. And in case you want to have tea or coffee, we have so many interesting food, food there. You can try it out. So let's all enjoy. Let's not worry about the number. This is more than good enough. And as a music lover, what a privilege. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause. Please join me in welcoming the, the band Bones and Clays, led by the principal himself. He is going to hit the drum as hard as he can. Okay. Let the fun begin. Thank you all for coming. And after this, I'll introduce so many other uh, top artists of the town who are going to perform.
nothing to hide, no need to pretend. Lay back in your arms of someone, you give in to the terms of someone. Lay back in the arms of someone you love. Part of someone, lay back in the arms of someone you love. Broken hearted, no silent prayer for a baby party. I ain't gonna be just a baby in the crowd. You're gonna hear my voice when I shout it out loud. Come on, sing with me. It's my life, I won't ever. To the ground But Tommy and G Now never back down Tomorrow's getting harder Make no mistakes Like I even like you And your own brain It's my life
of studying Happy Heart Junior College. No other single college has done this. Next year, if you invite me again, I'd, I'd love to come back here again. If there is one place that I love to be, this is Happy Heart Junior College. They are very visionary leaders, young and dynamic. So students, now, without further wasting our time, we want to invite the beautiful and gorgeous the lady is so much about the town, everyone is talking about her right now. She is coming with her crown. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Miss Good Teresa Varte. And also, I'd like to call upon one of the lecturers, Miss Ninglun Bushil. Is that right? Before they are doing the interaction, I'd like to request Happy Heart Junior College to be ready with the presentation. But I want to ask our only two questions on behalf of those gentlemen. I'm already married, have three children. 
this question is not relevant to me much. Teresa Varte, after all your meals, could everyone is asking for your number? I'll not give, though I have. That's what I can do on my part. Are you still single or there is someone special already? Would you like to answer or not answer? That's up to you, okay? Uh, I do have a boyfriend. Wow, so sad. <laughs> even I'm also, even though I'm also married, I'm also I'm very sad. <laughs> not a problem, yeah. How do how do you plan to spend the one luck? Can you treat me somewhere? <laughs> okay, let's give it up for Miss Good, the beautiful Teresa Varde. Come on, everyone. So many things would the, the student would like to learn so much things. So there is uh, our lecturer, Miss Nilon, to do the interaction. Before that, we'll, uh, Happy Heart Junior College would like to give you a small token of love and appreciation. Congratulations once more, Teresa. You look great today, Teresa. How do you feel? Uh, I feel so proud and feel, it feels so great to be here. Actually, we, especially me, I find myself very fortunate to be standing here next to you on this occasion. And yesterday night when the principal informed me like you have to prepare a set of questions uh, which you will need for interacting with the Miss Good. You know, I was really having a hard time, like how many questions do I have to set? Would it be appropriate for her? So after a deep thought, I have set only five questions, okay? So for the boys out there, I think I don't need to ask any question for you because he has already given the answer about you, you know? Curiosity, she has already filled that gap. Okay, thank you so much once again for sparing us your valuable time. Okay, the first questions which I am going to ask her today is, what prompted you to compete in the pageant? Uh, when I was a little girl, like I was young, it was my aunt who asked me to participate in such a grand uh, festival celebration mm -hmm. at Miss Good state level. So I think she's the one to always inspire me and always motivates me in whatever I do. And I think it is my aunt. Thank you. You're lucky. So today, she's lucky to have such a great aunt who could inspire her to take these things up to this level. Now coming to the next questions is, in the course of your preparation, what were the challenges that you face as a daughter, as a sister, as a student, and of course, as a girlfriend? Because you has already mentioned that I had a boyfriend. Okay, so today uh, we would like her to share us with uh, the challenges that she faced during the preparation. As a person who comes from a middle class family, it was really hard to go like every week at Imphal for rehearsals. So I think that is the most challenging part as we don't have uh, a vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, four-wheeler vehicle, which uh, like would really be of a great help for me. But I think that was the biggest problem and the biggest challenge that I faced during uh, our rehearsals and during my time at state level good. Thank you. Relative to that, uh, like any pressure from the families and all, like, oh, you have to quit taking these things up. Is there any such instances? Actually, my dad wasn't really happy with me participating in such uh, competitions because uh, he, he told me that it is a competition for people with powers and money. So what are you going to do there? But I, I told my dad that uh, this is what I love and what I want to do. And they're also really happy for me because I won the crown and they are really proud of me. And I really want to thank them for being always supportive no matter what. You have a great aunt, now you have a great mom and dad. And I bet in the future you will survive even an, uh, a jumpy, a jumpy, a collapse, you know? Even when there is something much, much scarier than this. 
I believe that you will survive. Now my third question is, during the competition in the pageant, is there a situation you think you could have handled better or differently? Uh, I think everyone know that I really did bad on the top five, which is the question and answer round. I was so actually very nervous at that moment because I wasn't expecting to uh, even reach that, that uh, high or that uh, top five or top ten because uh, the contestants were really so great and I was also just part of it, not that great or um, I don't really have such high expectations on myself. And I, uh, I think uh, the word that I use, Paris as a country, is the thing uh, that I did really bad. But uh, I, I hope we all know that everyone is not perfect and we all have flaws and we are all imperfect. And I think, uh, I hope, I really hope that everyone uh, would understand me that I was really nervous. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, in the interview round, she was asked uh, a questions about places she would like to visit and she answered with Paris. And while giving, you know, uh, elaborating about the reasons why she wanted to be there. Yes, she mentioned like she skipped the name of the country and it went viral like in many of the sites and all, you know. But yet still, today, I think uh, the judges in the competition, in the pageant, they were very rational and very logical. So I think they have chosen the right person yet still. So I think she deserved the crown and today she confessed that she had made a mistake and she really made a difference and she really, really deserved the crown. And now coming to the fourth questions, I have said that I have prepared only five questions. Now coming to the fourth questions, uh, now you have crossed all barriers. Now that you are the reigning Miss Coot, what changes have occurred between the then and now in your life? I think that with uh, the crown of Miss Good comes a big responsibility. That is uh, that I should be an icon, a person who uh, also lives for herself but also for the society. And I think that I should really set a great example uh, to, my, uh, to the youth, the younger generation, that uh, I should uh, really try my best and give my best in everything or every aspects that I do. And I also want to be a devoted and dedicated person and determined and also hardworking in everything I do. Thank you. So uh, everything, your life aspects, the way you see things, the way you moved, everything have already changed, it means, okay. Uh, so I'm um, braining Miss Good really do have an impeccable manner, you know, to change. Now my last question is, as an icon of the students, what message would you like to pass on to them? Like for instance, young girls who aspire to be the Miss Good in the future? I think that uh, anyone who want to, any young girls who want to participate in such competitions, I think that you should really be hardworking and practice a lot as uh, we all know that practice makes a man perfect. And uh, if you really want to become someone like a Miss Good, a person who is um, looked up by everyone in the society, I think that you should uh, really, uh, you should not really care about your appearance or uh, anything about you that you are insecure about, you should just focus on yourself and should really work hard and do not expect too much from others as uh, you are the only person who can make yourself better. Thank you. She means to say that beauty lies within the soul, okay, not the outward appearance. So Teresa, you really, really do deserve the crown. And Today, I believed, you know, I think she re really deserve a big hug. So in place of all the audience out there, I'm going to hug her, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you all. Thank you, Teresa. May God bless you. Thank you.
And Teresa, please uh, keep standing on the dais. Now I would like to call upon the principal as see he has something to say. All right, can we have Mama Lalrin Moy, manager of Happy Heart Junior College? We wanted to present this song to our Miss Good on behalf of Happy Heart Junior College. Yes, we are all so proud and happy of uh, Teresa Varte, right? Yes, and uh, it's a privilege for us to have her here. It's like her coming home to Happy Her Junior College. Thank you so much, Teresa. Okay, let's all give her a big round of applause for Teresa. Thank you, Teresa Varte. We strongly believe that education is not only what you learn inside the four walls of the classroom. Some of you would like to become IAS, but not many of you will end up in DC office. Some of you will end up inside Paupu Auto, Indian Auto Service. That's the reality of education. Education is not only about scoring marks in the classroom. Not only people who score highest mark inside the classroom are to be called educated. Education is an all-around development of physical, mental, spirituality. And if you look in the Bible, Luke chapter 1, verse 45, it says, Jesus grow in wisdom, stature, in favor of men, in favor of God. We strongly believe that. That's why we have this face. Uh, the next line up we're going to call, ladies and gentlemen, is an interesting one. Ladies and gentlemen, the next singer we are going to call, Rising for artist lineup, the most interesting one, Lorinda Varte. Please give it up for Lorinda Varte. Lorinda Omle, I'm going to here.
Thank you. Wherever you go, wherever you may wander in your life, surely you know. I always want to be there, holding your hand, and standing by to catch you when you fall. Let me be there in your morning Let me be there in your night Let me change whatever's wrong And make it right Let me take you through that wild land That only two can share All I ask you is let me be there
scammer time remembered well when the strong young man of the rising sun and the tolling of the red black bell one day in the year of the fox when the bell began to ring and the time had gone for the one to go to the temple of the king there in the middle of the circle he stands certain seeking then the answer will be found daylight waits well the old man sees help me and then like the rest of a thousand weeks it's signs upon the wall A time remembered will when the strong young man of the rising sun had the tolling of the great black bell. One day in the year of the fox, when the bell began to sing, it meant the time had come for the one to go to the temple of the king. There in the middle of the people, he stands. We just saw web of a strong right hand is born to the table of the
Home. She dreams of 
For the sake of people who have different genre, we are going to call the next artist for the afternoon. Please, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the beautiful scene sensation, Din Pui Zolde. Please put your hands up together for her. <laughs>
Din Pui, when you sing the last song, I was so happy. <laughs> Thank you for belting out such beautiful number. We love you, Din Pui. Please put your hands together for Din Pui. Thank you. Thank you. We are expecting you to sing that song again because the crowd really love it. Now, the next we have is Lily Ramta. Please. She is our very own student. It's great to have our own student performing here. Rising Four is made for people like her. Let's put our hands together and welcome Lily. Sing along with me. All of this life is a cross. Tell you the story Destination. 
I realized quickly when I knew I should That the world was made up of this brotherhood of man For whatever that means And so I cry sometimes when I lie in bed There's no words in my heart
take on my way home And things went so in time I give it's night to see through this paper Still I ran out of time Only time to get through To the bird on the wire Files me back to you I just close my eyes She calls me to stand in her spotlight again Tonight I won't be alone But who don't mean I'm no lonely I've got nothing to prove For it's like that too
ไอ้ลุงลามนอจนจึงกระสักนอดิ้ง
love is a lie So we begin Our food is delay Our hearts on a table Stumble it in Our love is a flame Now burning with it Now and then
someone like you could take a desperate like me. But oh, here I am as a meek as a lamb, a bleeding heart there at your feet. Yes, I am. Diamonds and rust. One, two, three. Ah.
mangai bia tu nem tem lan kanwa ham ereng sakai jo ba se bia sai ne ten men chang lo yan mo sira min go tao le si apyang lung lo pe Yang lung mol ketan rehian mo, anlo joy lejun lejuatkan. Oh, mm-hmm. 